So the use of electronic signatures. In AMS 2750E, uh, there's a section that's specifically defining what the electronic record represents. This is in section 3.2.7. Uh, a subsection of 3.2.7 is uh, the 3.2.7.1.3.1, uh, which is uh, defining how uh, electronic signatures can be used for signing off a chart. So as this section states, uh, the system shall be capable of providing evidence the record was reviewed, such as by recording an electronic review or a method of printing the record for a physical marking indicating review. Well, if you're trying to go to a paperless environment, uh, the, uh, the, the printing of a record off and then signing it is what you're trying to get away from. So in this example here, what I'm going to demonstrate is how to use a note feature on uh, the SD Recorder application. Uh, this is specifically SD Recorder 2, where we have the note mode uh, set so it requires authentication. So when I go to add an electronic note uh, onto the chart, you'll see that entering a username and password is required. So you're providing authentication to the user uh, that is signing off or reviewing the chart or performing some task that you have defined uh, for that. Again, the key here is that uh, the operator that is performing this task, you can always go back to to look at that. So in this add note feature, you'll see that now we have the note recorded on the chart, uh, so we can always go back uh, to that. And then looking at uh, to, to see who actually performed that note, uh, we can go to the notes list here and look at who has actually reviewed it, where you'll see here is the uh, username. So that's one way to address uh, an electronic signature uh, associated to that. Now the other way that we can go through and define this is by using an Adobe function which is providing a signature onto an Adobe file or PDF file of this. So for example, uh, if I go to the print function here uh, to save a document, I'm going to go ahead and uh, save it to a PDF file. And when this document gets created, uh, I can use the signature function, uh, which is, uh, again, providing a valid signature, which uh, uh, is authenticated to a user and a password, or then has a password to actually sign this and have a valid signature associated to this. So the, the idea here is coming up with uh, alternative methods from printing off a piece of paper and signing a chart. Uh, this is giving you two different options on using a SCADA application or a paperless system and then providing some tool uh, that gives you authentication to somebody reviewing a chart or looking at a chart uh, and then having access to that. And here you'll see that uh, you have that authentication in another way. For any questions, feel free to contact us here at SuperSystems at 513-772-0060.